Hello everyone, welcome to another Matrix Transformations tutorial. In the last lesson on reflections, you learned about how to reflect a point in the x-axis and now we're going to talk about how to reflect it in the y-axis. So as you guys already know, to conduct a transformation, we need to firstly make up the transformation matrix and in order to fill this in uh, what we do is we uh, draw one point on our Cartesian plane which is going to be at x is 1 and y is 0 so this is my original point and what we do is we find the image of this point based on the transformation which is reflection in the y-axis so the image of this point is going to be over here because we have reflected it in the y-axis. So this point has the coordinates negative 1, 0. And what we do is we write the image of this first point in the first column of our transformation matrix. Okay, and then we do um, the same thing but for a second point which is going to start at x is 0 and y is 1 and what is the image of this point after we conduct the reflection well it's already sitting on the y-axis so if we reflect it in the y-axis it will end up being at the same point so therefore we write the coordinates of the image in our reflection matrix and that's the answer so this is our reflection matrix and now what we're going to do is multiply the reflection matrix by an example original points and see what the image is in other words we're going to test whether this reflection matrix works so let's uh, r assign a random point so I have just assigned a random point x and y is negative 4, 2. So let me draw that on the Cartesian plane. So the point is situated over here. And now if I multiply the reflection matrix, which is negative 1, 0, 0, 1, if I multiply this matrix by my original point, which is negative 2, let's see what the answer is so we have negative 1 times negative 4 plus 0 times 2 so the answer is 4 0 times negative 4 plus 1 times 2 so the answer is 2 and let's draw the image so we have x is 4 and y is 2 so it's over here so indeed it has been reflected in the y-axis so this is our answer the reflection matrix is equal to negative 1 0 0 1 okay thanks for watching guys see you next time